Hello, 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 hello. Today, another day that we are together again. And thanks for watching our videos. Thank you for following my journey to lose weight with a keto diet. Also exercising, which is hard thing to do actually. But you get in there and for the next time we're gonna go for the exercising videos and we go for those things and last week we had a food called uh, dolma with the grape leaves uh, called like a stuffed grape leaves and we were together and uh, that was so delicious especially with barberries on the top of it and which omar here he liked it and said the barbary goes good with it. This week we came with another food, which is like a traditional salad called olvia salad. It came up from Russia. In the salad, they put apple in it, they put potatoes in it, which all of them are like a high carb and they have sh contains sugar. Uh, we came with our own version. Um, instead of potato, we using cauliflower and. It, we make it our more Americanized, which we're using the dry deals in it. Without further ado, let's go for the ingredients. Thank you. Okay, for ingredients, first I have my cauliflower. Whole cauliflower, I use it for cooking this time. I have two chicken breasts here, which is roughly like a pound. I have one onion and garlic. I have mayo sauce here. I have five eggs. Four pickles, which is like unsweetened pickles, which is, you can use like a kosher pickle. I have one tablespoon dry dill. And I do have a tomato, one tomato I'm using for designing it. Please check out the description below the video for seeing where we can find the gears, equipment for the video that we are using, for the kitchenware that we are using, and how you can get the ingredients here in the video and the links that we provided for you. Alright guys, let's go start for cooking. First of all, I put the cauliflower in the pressure cooker and I'm going to fill it with water. And I put the water around like two inches from the top. Then I put it on the stove and I wait for water to get boiled. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut the onions. So I'm chopping the onions on the cutting board. Then I'm going to chop the garlic, which you can use as your preference, as much as you want your garlic. So then uh, it's a time to fry it. So I put oil in the pan and then I put it on the stove and I wait to it fry. It's a time for my one pound chicken breast. So I chop it um, to the small pieces, very small pieces. So, um, but I don't shred it because even if, you know when you shred it, it is uh, you don't feel it in the uh, salad. So you want to feel the chicken in the salad. So. So the time is for adding my peppers and my turmeric which was like a half a teaspoon of turmeric so I add it to the pan and I'm adding a pepper uh, like a red pepper I added to the um, onions so as we see I use around like I, I love the spicy food so I use around like uh, one big teaspoon so uh, you can use it as your preference then is the time for frying my chicken with um, I added my chicken to the onion and garlic and I mix it together 
Uh, from there. So as remember it should be fully cooked, I, I put the lid on the pan and I turn the stove down and I wait for like 15-20 minutes and then is the time right now to uh, have our eggs ready so I put the water in it and I put it on the stove of uh, 5 eggs and I wait to be cooked, uh, have a cooked eggs. Is a time to put the salt in there. Both of them, cauliflowers and chicken. So it's boiling right now. So I'm going to uh, put the lid on the pressure cooker, and we're then it's a time to chop the pickles so right now our Cauliflower is ready. I've waited for around like 20 minutes. And as we see, it's well cooked. So I remove the water from it and just make sure you remove all water from it. And then I put in the pot and then I try to have our. Uh, cauliflower for the olivia salad then our chicken is ready as well because we waited for 20 minutes and i removed the water from our chicken our oil from chicken and then i'm adding to the cauliflower then i put my pickles and our one tablespoon of dry dill and our eggs are ready as well so we are going to shred it so Then is the time to add our mayo sauce, mayonnaise. So mayonnaise sauce, I put it, you can put as much as you want, as it's your preference, you know, someone likes it very saucy, very like juicy. So they use too much sauces and then someone doesn't like it that much. So it's just your preference. So we are almost done with the salad. So I put it in the pot and then we go from there, it's almost done, our salad is ready but it's hot, just make sure you put it in the uh, refrigerator and because you need it for, uh, as a cold salad, you know, you eat it as a cold salad. Kiki! She, she's my cat, sorry. And then we have our tomato. I came up with something. I want to make it like a rose shape. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that part. I remove it. Okay. I tried it. Oh my god. Okay. Push it. Push it. A little bit. Okay. That's, that looks like a cone. Right now, <laughs> not the rose. So I put the... The last pickles that I had it, I put it for the designing it, and I'll see. 
see what I can do. What I'm thinking about what to do with the rest of the pig, uh, tomato that I had. It. Okay, shredded it. So I chopped it and I put it in the different side of the plate. So his chicken is good with it. So it's ready, 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 ready. Thank you for watching our video. Please like it and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos and you want to follow my journey and seeing the keto friendly diet foods and the olivia salad which is like a keto friendly salad um with our version actually uh, is ready to get served and see you next time